Well, many people in the small town of Oak Ridge are stepping up in a big way to help each other. And a Red Cross Center opened in Oak Ridge at the high school there as we continue our team coverage with KZI 9 News reporter Jillian Smuckler. Most people aren't even know, weren't sure how to prepare for this. It's just more than what we've been able to take on. For the Beers family in Oak Ridge, life has been far from easy these past few days. Not only do they have a tree fall through their house, they can't get a hold of any family members to tell them they're okay. It's 40 degrees in the house. We're cooking on a butane, one burner butane, yeah. and we got like a half a can of butane left. So that's what we came out. We came down because we're up one third, so we came down to see if we can like refurbish supplies. With access to Highway 58 being limited, many community members tell me they're left feeling helpless. But some say seeing so many people come together during this hard time has been a breath of fresh air. I really enjoy living in this community. Um, sometimes Oak Ridge gets a bad rep. But I think people, when, when we're really struggling, struggling, people come together and help each other out. She tells me people in grocery stores have been offering to pay for those who don't have cash. Others are giving people food who had their spoil when the power went out. And people are even inviting friends, family, and neighbors without power to stay in their homes. My mom's got a few people at her house. The Baptist church opened up for the kids that were coming down from Hoodoo, and they all stayed there. And... I'm sure it's going around everywhere. If someone has wood heat or heat in general, they're letting people stay with them. A small town that's pulling together in a big way while they wait for things to return to normal. In Oak Ridge, Jillian Smuckler, KEZI 9 News.